Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Baptist Data Nation. So delighted that you can join us today. So it was my last video that I mentioned I could not get Lost World Jurassic Park working with the Sega Model 3 emulator. Indeed, I got the other light gun games working with the gamepad controller. Well, a user by the name of Retro Nostalgia made the wonderful suggestion of playing Lost World using a gamepad with the pad to key profile format. I immediately realized it was a great idea that I hadn't thought about. Therefore, I asked him a couple of questions and he kindly responded with his solution. Thereafter, I tested his solution and sure enough, Lost World was now working using a regular gamepad controller. I then tested his solution with the light gun games found in the Sega Model 2 emulator and those games also worked using the same technique. If that wasn't enough, Retro Nostalgia also suggested trying the same technique for retro arch based games that use a light gun and sure enough, it worked too. Consequently, let me go ahead and share with you this wonderful technique using the Sega Model 3 emulator, Sega Model 2 emulator, and the NES using RetroArch. Are you ready? Let's do it! So first thing is first, since we're going to be using the Sega Model 2 emulator, it's important that we have the correct games. So to find the correct ones, once again go into archive.org and then type Sega Model 2 and then hit go. It's going to be the very first result. In fact, it's going to have a long title, Sega Model 2 MU 1.1A and full blah blah blah. So those are the games you're going to need to get Sega Model 2 up and running without any trouble. All right, let's go ahead and load up Batocera and let's get these light gun games up and running. All right, so we're back in Batocera. And the very first thing we need to do is to create a patch of key profile. And the best way to do that is just go ahead and go choose games for Windows. Now from your list of games, pick a game that you know that doesn't need a patch of key profile. So for example, in this game, I don't need a patch of key profile because it already has gamepad support. So go ahead and hold down the A button or the B button depending upon your gamepad profile. And from there go into create pad to key profile. Okay. So this is going to be using the left button and the right button on the mouse pad. Go ahead select A and we want that to be left. Okay. I notice that works best for A has to be left. B choose right of course. Okay. Uh, and then from there go down. And then mouse cursor, yes, we want to emulate mouse cursor. You have a choice, you can use left or right. I tend to use left. And then save. Okay, that's gonna be your master profile. So let's go ahead and get out of this. Hit escape, F1. Let's go into the games folder. Let's go into Windows right there. Let's go into the actual game itself. In this case, it's crash. And from there, look for pad to keys. Go ahead. Copy that. Actually, you can actually cut it. We don't cut it and paste it. Let's go to our share folder. This is like my backup folder. I got a bunch of folders in here. I went ahead and I created a pad to key folder. Paste it. And let's go ahead and rename this. This is going to be a master file. So, backspace and type game, the name of the game, dot zip. Usually it's zip, dot keys. Again, this is going to be the master one. Now let's go back into Batocera. Let's go back to Sega Model 3. And let's go back to The Lost World. So from these two games that came in the game collection set, okay, this one does not work at all. No matter what I did, again, it does not work. Going to edit this game's metadata. You can see this, the loss wsgo.zip, okay? We can go ahead and hide that one or delete it all together. And then save. So this is the one that's working. Hold down the A button or the B button. Go into this game's metadata. You can see that on the top it says loss wsga.zip. That's the one you want. 
Copy that file name in a piece of paper so you can remember that. And then go ahead and exit. All right, let's go ahead and create a patch key profile for this particular game. And go ahead and hit Escape, F1. Let's go back to our backup folder here. Let's go back to key. Let's go ahead and copy that. And let's go to our games folder. Look for model three right there. Go ahead and paste it. All right, so there it is. Let's go ahead and rename it. And let's go back to my section that says game. And then type lost WSGA dot zip dot keys. That's what we want. Hit OK. You can see there, there it is. All right? So again, rename the master Apache key profile to the actual file name dot zip dot keys. All right? And that's what you got to do. Let's go ahead and try to test it out. All right, go into Model 3. From there, go ahead and select the game again. Hold down the A button or the B button. And you can see there that we have a patch key profile. It's right there, all right? Hold down the A button or the B button again, and then go into Advanced Game Options. Now, here's where this comes in handy. Show Light Gun Crosshair. Yes, now, now we want to choose player one only, or if you play with two people, and then of course you choose that. But so for the time being, I'm only playing by myself, so I'll go ahead and choose this one right here. Okay, this will come in handy. All right, go ahead and select the game. Press seven on your keyboard, and that will bring you to the service menu. And then go ahead and press eight to go up and down. Go to gun setting press 7 press 8 again to go to gun adjustment press 7 uh, and you can see here you got a mouse attached you can see here that the blue cursor does not overlap the crosshair so they have to overlap with each other right and if I move my gamepad left analog stick you can see that again that they're not matching so to get them to match and overlap each other uh, notice here it says here right so let's go to the right with a crosshair and then click it with your mouse okay uh, and then press start in your gamepad that brings you to the next one left so once again let's go all the way to the left with the crosshair and with your mouse select it okay then press start again let's go to the top with the crosshair right there is good Select it with your mouse, and now press Start in your gamepad. Let's go to the bottom, right there. Select it with your mouse, or click it with your mouse, and then press Start in your gamepad, and now let's go to the center, right there. Select with your mouse again, and then Start, and there it is. Now you can see there, it's all overlapping. It's perfect, okay? Once you got it just right, then press 7 to exit, press 8, and then press 7 again to exit. And let's go down with 8, and then 7 to exit. And you're good to go. Let's give it a shot. Wipe this out. You've got to save Ian and Sarah. Sarah and Ian. They went to the laboratory. You can find them with this detector. Look out! You can see that it works quite well. Now let's go ahead and use the same principle for the Model 2 games. 
All right, so let's go to a model two games. Let's get out of this. Let's go up one. And these are the five light gun games we gotta work with, okay? So again, hold down the A button or the B button, depending upon your configuration. Go to edit this game's metadata. There on top, you can find out the name file of all these games, okay? So this one's gunblade.zip. And you do the same thing for all of them, okay? Write it down on a piece of paper, okay? So once we have all those names, then we can go ahead and get out of this. And you can press F1. And let's go into a share folder right there. It's my backup folder. My patch a key folder. And then get my game zip file right here. Okay, go ahead and go to my games folder. Let's go to model two. And let's go ahead and paste it. And there it is right there. So we're gonna do the first one, Gunblade. Let's go ahead and uh, rename it to gunblade.zip.keys. All right, let's go ahead and select an empty spot and paste again. And there you have it again. And let's go ahead and rename it House of the Dead, which is uh, right here. H O T D zip. Okay? All right. And let's do one more. Paste again. And we get another one right there. And we want to do virtual cop. And rename that one. And I know the title is V cop. Dot zip dot keys. All right. All right. That should do it. Let's go ahead and test things out. File, close. And let's go ahead and select the very first one. All right, let's try the House of the Dead. And one more, Virtual Cop. And you can see that it works quite well. You can do the same thing for Virtual Cop 2 and Royal Chase 2 as well. And furthermore, it turns out you can also add this feature to Retro Arch games that are light gun games. So for example, let's go ahead and get out of this. 
Let's press F1. And let's go to, once again, to my backup here folder here. My patch of key folder. Let's go ahead and select that. And let's go into my games folder. Let's go to my NES folder. And go ahead and paste it right there. And we got Duck Hunt. Okay, so let's go ahead and rename that to Duck Hunt. Duck space hunt dot zip dot keys. Okay, same principle. Let's go ahead and close Windows. Let's go load up NES right there. Let's go to Duck Hunt. Let's go ahead and select it. And then press hotkey A button or the B button, depending upon your configuration. And let's go down to Options with the keyboard. And let's go into Input. You can see there the zapper is set to Light Gun, okay? So let's go ahead and backspace. And let's go to Manage Core Options. Let's go ahead and delete that. And let's go back. Let's go back to input and we want to choose zapper we want it to be the mouse okay and then make sure that show crosshair is also selected to on backspace let's go ahead up here at the top and let's save it all right backspace and resume All right, you can see that it works quite well. So again, any of the light gun games you have for any of the retro arts emulators, you can use the same feature. So again, just copy the path to key profile file into any of the folders within the emulators, and you can get these light gun games up and running in no time. And there you have it. Once again, I want to thank Retro Nostalgia for giving us this amazing tip who has made life so much easier by allowing us to play our light gun games just using our gamepad controllers. Well, that's a wrap. If you found this video useful, please go ahead and like it. That would really help me out with YouTube's algorithms. If this is your first time watching a video from Bautista Nation, then I highly encourage you to check out our YouTube channel as well as the website BautistaNation.com. That will give you a great overview of what Bautista is all about and whether this will meet your emulating needs. Finally, I want you to know I've got a lot more videos coming up, so therefore please consider subscribing so that you'll stay on top of the latest and greatest of Batuseta. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time on Batuseta Nation. Bye.